So the first piece of information you're going to need to know is the phone's IP address. And you want to make sure that the phone is connected to the same network that your PC or laptop is on as well, and that you can actually browse to that phone's IP address. So we're going to go into the phone status, look at the network status, we're going to pull up that phone's IP address. It's going to be hard to see on the screen, but I've got the local IPv4 address. That's what we're going to be using to access the admin interface of the phone and start making changes to it and get it registered to our PBX. All right, so I've browsed to the phone's IP address. It's a local address. Our local network here is a 172 address. So that address means the address I'm using, and you can't even see it because I've, I'm just showing you the actual con the page, not the address bar. That address means nothing to you. You need to find your LAN address for your phone on your network. So make sure you've got that and you have uh, accessed it. All right, now we need the username and the password. And it is admin admin by default for older model Grandstream phones. And so we're not going to save this password and we're going to give it a new password. So uh, once the current, okay, there's the current. Let's give it a new one. And just save that. All right, we're not going to save it in the browser. Perfect. Passwords changed successfully. Okay, so now we're in and we see the account status. And now we can start configuring our phone for our phone system. And you're going to need some phone system information here, um, specifically you know, uh, phone system IP address, extension information, etc. We're going to go out and get that here in a moment. We'll get it from a free PBX. Your information is going to be different than ours, but hopefully you get the gist and the idea of how it works.